Okay. Live? Alright, hello everyone. I am on L. And I am here by showcasing this game, Crink C. Game I can best describe as an anime turned into a game. Not based off any anime or I know of. We're gonna have a nice third person action shooter. Oops, wait, no, I selected the wrong one, sorry. Ah, I selected the wrong difficulty setting, so you'll have to forgive me while I start this over again. Great. Okay. Now we're going to start on Crim G Squad mode because it's the easiest one and I get a few three, few, three bits from it. The basis of the game as we're starting off is that we are the private detective Sher and we're being hired by some mysterious woman to investigate some stuff that's happening in the Opelix system. Okay. We all ready to go? Timer will start in three, two, one, begin. Go. Alright. Now, the first thing we're going to do for this level is just dash all the way to the end because the only thing we need to do is kill the boss. Then we've discovered that the local areas that we've been tasked to investigate are being infested by this a these aliens called mutons. They seem to be harassing the local populace recently. And suddenly we found out there's a huge swarm of them. We were asked to retrieve an item, and that's fun. Main reason to start on G Squad mode is not only difficulty, but we also start off with this weapon, the volcano, for free. And having this weapon really early is very helpful. And we start off with the first boss, this big old sludge monster. We can take him down real quick. And on which large puddles he comes out from. And the boss is dead. That's the first level. And at every stage we also get ranked as you can see here. Those ranks give us money depending on how well we do. It's... This is the... We, basically, that's where all of our money comes from. So basically, we've been kind of duped currently. That mission was um, a test set up by the International Agency of uh, Agency Galaxy IAG, and basically there was a test to see if we can join them. I said, "All right, well, that you did pretty good, so you can join them. We're sending you up with G Squad. Here's your next mission: go into the city, wander here with G Squad, and kill all the mutons in the city." That's what our next level is. We also get joined up with our first buddy, our partner, private detective, Yankwin. He's gonna help us kill some enemy guard. This is also the other benefit of having a um, volcano, because it's a splash damage one. We can very easily clear out of this. Um, with a bit of rapid firing. This room. Find uh, one of the first members of G Squad hiding here in the corner, Kekak. Joy, don't accidentally. Find. Even though there's some checkpoints that tell you you can't move on the wall, you can still miss a few. And backtracking hostel. Yeah, so I can set myself up. All these enemies. Area clear. On. Okay. 
now how the aiming works in this game is that it's not really you don't really aim it kind of just kind of centralizes in the middle of your viewpoint but there's kind of two kinds of lock-ons you can do in the game if you're facing an enemy you come to get like a soft lock-on and it kind of auto targets that enemy that's closest to you right in the middle you also do a hard lock-on by holding down the right trigger and focuses on the enemy for the marker on here we find a fourth buddy here, Boron on chest. We help him up off the floor and he joins our crew. A simple G squad. Gonna make folks get behind me. Doing that. Cameron's also rather finicky in this game, it's one of the biggest problems. Camera controls are rather bad. It's more focused on boxing now. Gotta make sure I'm kind of trying to face the end times. This elevator up and I counter the boss. Take I can burrow and get scared and run away from the boss, leaving them, but I should be simple to take out this boss. Staying fire and that's the boss level. That's the second level. Now at the end of every stage we get ranked or here, and it's based on time, damage, your enemies are killed, the max chain of enemies that you've your own single combo and uh special objectives in each stage like um um how much damage how quickly you beat the boss it, how many team members survived it depends on the level if you manage to get an s rank on every single um every single stage you get a bonus i'd like to call a clear s rank we'll talk about that in a bit but now we're on to the first stage dipped in plant get a weapon, new weapon for the cleaning stage called the Vulcan and it's basically a machine gun which is very handy because we're going to be stuck in this plant fighting these enemies for a long time. This large power plant is infested with ones we have to go clear it out. We're just going to stand here and uh, continue picking out all these enemies. Also the combo part we have in the bottom of the map. That's uh, the enemies we manage to shoot go in a short chain, long chain. We get up every 50 enemies we kill, we spawn a little health for pick up. That's also just an indicator as well, signifying just if you manage to get the, the combo required for the stage, if that's what you're going for. good time to actually the energy bar. Or my weapon on the screen. Bottom left with a bar. Underneath that, like a blue energy bar. That is determined by my guns with the general. That runs out. Gun will basically overheat for a bit and I have to wait until all the pistol charges. So I'm gonna pay attention and make sure that I just cancel it right at the end. So I can get the fastest couple of recharge and I'll put that gun down to Also, to come to the flash bubble weapons, we each have a uh, melee attack with the bird. It's helpful in keeping the chain active, but it's usually a lot less effective than just using the gun itself, so to keep you gun attacked. Hey, this is just a uh, one way from where we just lost them. Like one of the trying to lose the same place in this game. It's like a massive battle zone. It's only once we have some to have a faith.
personal record for this stage, the amount of nice combo I've got. A little over 500. Must I manage to get get it that? Other section down. Oh, there's another way for it's going in. There we go, finally we're done with the plot. That's the first few basic levels done. How the game really opens up it presents a bunch of things to us at once. In the story section, we are now told to go visit an archaeomusicalologist, like someone who studies sound waves, apparently, called Tabla Seeker. When we do, he puts he throws a sound wave in us and awakens us to power called Neuroseonics, revealing to us that we're not actually a human, we're actually something called a Vipa. Someone who Neuroseonics. This was her first near Sionic power, Blast Wave. You also get a new party member, Shami. You're tasked with escorting through four different levels and collecting sound waves from each different planet. Hey, did you hear? Start off with going to Una controlled area, where we have an escort mission. The president of the local planet kind of got caught up in the local mutant infestation. We have to escort him out of the area. Got to help this Batman get through. Knowing because we have to manually push him through some of the obstacles. We want as little enemies hitting him as possible because he gets whacked by enemies, has a hit style animation that's relatively large. Just slows him down a lot. Also trigger that yourself if you accidentally hit him. I don't want that to happen. Hmm. 
First, what we want to do in this level, make sure all enemies offer as much as they can. So you just cows down the ground. Let's get first. Just make sure you keep pushing him to make sure that you know, off him. So what I'm also doing here is holding down the left trigger to do strafe mode in the camera, which locks the camera view directly for so it won't aim for left or right. Very helpful. Actually, I'm just going to make sure that board. I want to take that this guy down. Bunch of them. Bunch of them in this. Oh. Another annoying thing about loves to take a very weird and comfortable path to the maze. And it's random sometimes, I swear. Fastest route to just go over there through the corner, but he just likes to take this really weird route all the way around here. Go all the way up here, across here. I've not seen him take this route before. This is an very annoying. Now up ahead we have a global cycle. We're about to miss it. Oh wait. Shit. Oh that's that's terrible. Now I just reached the worst part of it. I tried to catch the end of that global cycle, but now I always fell down here. Bugs. Now he's kind of gone into like a free push area. So instead of taking the fast gondola ride across this, I have to manually push him across. I'm supposed to just let the gondola get us across there. A lot faster, but. That was unfortunate. segment. Trigger that. All that. Oh. Now apparently I have to pause the stream for shots fired. I'm sorry. Restarting the stream, I'm right back in a bit. <laughs> 